Now that we've selected our hardware, it's time for step three, building the computer. ready to go. Now all we need is to install our hard drives. Unlike traditional RAID, Unraid is going to allow us to use multiple different sized hard drives. Just make sure that the biggest one becomes your parity drive. In the case of my stack of random drives, my largest drive is a 750 gig, so that's going to become my parity drive. Everything else will become data drives. To really simplify what a parity drive is without getting too technical and without being 100% accurate, basically what it does is it allows for your drives to have redundancy. So if disk one were to crash, you have the data still on your parity drive, essentially. So then when you replace disk one, your uh, parity drive then refreshes the, uh, the new drive and the data is not lost. And subsequently, if you were to lose your parity drive, you can replace the parity drive, and then your parity drive would be rebuilt from the data drives. The negative impact of using a parity drive as opposed to striping the parity, uh, such as like a RAID 5 or a RAID 6, is this, the impact that that has on speed. Of course, a RAID 5 or 6 is going to be a lot faster than an un unRAID box, but uh, in a case where this is used for just data storage and not so much for you know, direct production, uh, it's going to work just fine. But the positive, I think, outweighs the negative because basically, uh, nice thing about having a parity drive as opposed to striping is power consumption. Uh, those drives, because let's say you've got six disks in your array. So you've got your parity drive and five data disks. If your data that is on uh, you know, the first three disks is being used, the last two disks can actually be powered down. Unraid is going to turn those off. That's going to extend the life of your drive, but also it's going to conserve power. Uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, also, that's, you know, that's certainly a good thing if you're on a UPS. Let's say the power goes out and there are three drives running or four drives running as opposed to all five or six. Uh, that's a good thing as well. It's going to extend the life of your battery on the, in a case where you know, power is out. Uh, but I do think about the fact that uh, it, it's able to spin down individual drives. With a traditional RAID, because the parity is striped across the entire array, you can spin down the entire array, but then as soon as you access any data on any of the drives, it has to fire up the entire array. So if it's six drives, six drives all of a sudden spin up. With Unraid, it's only going to spin up the drive that is uh, in, in use or that's needed uh, where that data is stored. The other drives can remain spun down. In past years, Unraid was pretty hardware specific. So you could have trouble with different cards, you could have trouble with different kinds of motherboards. But generally speaking, it's become very unspecific as far as what hardware it requires to run. Uh, so in this case, I've actually been able to install just a cheap uh, SIS SATA2 controller, and that's going to give me an extra two ports. And it works just fine in Unraid, and that's a good thing.